We are finally covering free VR games again. And today we're covering nine free VR games that you can play today on your Oculus Quest. Let's get started. First up, Quake Quest. This is a port of the shareware version of Quake fully playable on your Oculus Quest. So since it's the shareware version, not all of the episodes are available, but there's still plenty of fun to be had in here. The controls work really well. It's so fun to play Quake this way with full six degrees of freedom for movement and your weapons. Although I will say it's pretty funny how your weapons are absolutely tiny in your hands. This is without a doubt the smallest shotgun I've ever seen. The only mode of movement is sliding, so if you're prone to motion sickness, you may have a difficult time in here. Also know that this is the only game not available in the Oculus Store. To install this, you'll need to download SideQuest, which makes sideloading games into your quest very easy. I'll link to SideQuest down below. I highly recommend you try it out. It's a fantastic app. Epic Roller Coasters is exactly what it sounds like. Take a ride through these wild and fantastical roller coasters. It comes with two free roller coasters, and there are many more available through DLC. And within each roller coaster, there are multiple play modes, including single player, multiplayer, and a shooting game, which has you attempting to hit targets and trying to get a high score for accuracy. VR roller coasters really aren't my cup of tea, but I have to admit these courses are pretty well made. If you're into roller coasters, then it's a must play. Hello, fellas. Big Screen Beta is a social experience where its main draw is doing things together like watching movies, listening to music. What other bands you got on this playlist? Oh, I can take a look. Let me pull this up here. I like it. Or even just drawing. I saw people controlling their computer desktops in here. I think that's only available in the desktop Oops. version of Big Screen, but don't quote me on that. If you want to meet some new people or just try to watch some movies for free, then this is your ticket. Are you using the brush? Bait is a fishing game, which features a surprising amount of depth. The actual fishing gameplay is kind of a dance between you and the fish. Once a fish takes a bite, you need to be careful to not reel them in too fast or you'll lose them. You gotta keep watching the meter to make sure it doesn't get too low or too high, and then you catch the fish. To keep you going, there are lots of things to unlock and see. You can purchase new fishing gear, unlock new areas to explore, and you'll also get specific quests and minigames that you need to accomplish. Like catching special fish for Jim Bob, who runs the fishing store. Tell you what, I'll get you one free if you bring me a few parrot perch from Ocean Lake. I'm trying to populate one of the other lakes, but I'm too busy to catch them myself. Out of all the free fishing VR games I've played, this is the best one. It's a great relaxing casual time and I recommend it. PokerStars VR lets you play the classic card game with people all over the world. On you. And the game is totally free. There's no requirement to purchase anything in the real world. All of the money in the game is fake money. All of the interactions and mechanics use the motion controllers really well. Huh. The way you flip up the cards to see what's in your hand, or grabbing chips to place your bets. My favorite element are the props. There's all kinds of silly and wacky things to play with at the table. From smoking pipes, to candles, to party poppers. Bet. It's hands down the best card game in VR right now. That's a call. The River. First Contact is a casual sandbox interactive experience. A charming little robot wakes up before you and shows you how to use the motion controllers and all the potential they have. And you're continually interacting with the cute bot as the bot gives you discs to load into machines, which create props, which turn into games, things like that. 
Basically a VR game for complete newcomers who are still learning the interactions and discovering all the things that can be done. It's very well made and good looking, but if you're an experienced VR player, you may find it a little boring. For newcomers, however, I highly recommend it. I got about six minutes of play out of this, but if you take your time, you could probably get more out of it. And Bago is very similar in premise, but instead of a robot, it's a cute little animal. Although I should mention that First Contact has you facing forward the whole time, Bago is a full room scale experience. Interact with the cute little animal by feeding it, petting it, and playing games. As you play more and more with Bago, the environment will change and morph all around you. And just like First Contact, it is very good looking and well made. But experienced players may find it a little boring. This one lasted about 10 minutes for me. VR chat needs no introduction. It's probably the most popular VR game in the world. As you all know, it's a social mingling app where you can customize your avatar's appearance however you like and hang out with people around the world. The Oculus Quest version doesn't feature absolutely everything that the desktop version has. There's only certain cross-play areas you can go in, but there's still plenty of mingling to do and mini-games you can play, like Capture the Flag. I really doubt you haven't played VR chat before, but if you haven't, do give it a spin for the biggest social experience in VR out there. And of course, Rec Room. What Rec Room lacks in its avatar customization compared to VR chat, it more than makes up for in the quality of games you play. There's so much in here, from paintball, to frisbee golf, to laser tag, to quest co-op adventures, which currently aren't yet supported on the quest, but will be very soon. And I'm really looking forward to that because I want to play Jumbotron without any wires. I think that'll be so much fun. If you only play one game on this list, make it Rec Room. There's so much to play in here, it'll keep you busy for days. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!